so guys these are the measurements that you will be using for this pattern drafting and you would also be using your tape rule your marker your ruler or your pattern master your pencil and eraser just in case you want to go in with this first because of mistakes before you go in with your marker so i already went ahead to fold my paper into two and the first thing you want to do is take out your shoulder measurements and mine is eight inches and also take out the width of your neck or the wideness of your neck and now i'm gonna roll a line across these dots and the next thing that i'm going to do is come down by one inch on my shoulder and connect it back to my neck width so this is just to guess the slantness of your shoulder okay our shoulders are not straight they are slanted and then now for the depth of my neck i'm going to come down by 3.5 inches guys you can do four inches if you want yours deeper and then i'm going to go ahead and connect these two dots from my neck width to my neck depth so guys when i drew this it was looking kind of weird from my angle so that is why i just went ahead to draw a sort of deeper curve so the next thing you want to do is to take out your armhole and to get your armhole you're going to divide your bust by six and add 1.5 and mine is 7.5 you also want to make sure that the place where you marked as your armhole has the same distance as your shoulder and i'm adjusting my own right now back to eight inches which is my shoulder distance and then i am going to go ahead to connect these dots from my shoulder slant down to the place i marked as my armhole i'm going to rule a line across this armhole this is going to serve as the chest line and then i am going to go ahead right now to get the middle of this armhole so that we can take our armhole curve you can just simply bend your tape roll into two and just um, nudge at the middle that is going to be the middle of your armhole and then you come in by half an inch at that point and then on your chest line you want to take the quarter of your bust measurement okay mark it and then connect these three dots from your shoulder slant to the middle of your armhole where you came in by half an inch and to the quarter of your bust this is going to serve as your armhole curve so i am taking right now my bust point my under bust point and my waistline and then i'm just going to go ahead and rule lines across these dots okay and label them just so we know which is which So now I'm going to label this as my bust point, my under bust point, and my waistline. And I'm also going to be taking out my waist to my hip because this is a gown. And my waist to my hip is 9 inches. You also want to rule a line across this dot and label it as your hip. So guys, now the next step is to take our darts, okay? And you're going to measure your nipple to nipple and then mark it across so guys when you're taking your dart for your front you don't necessarily have to go from your chest line okay you can just start at the bust point so now you mark your nipple to nipple measurements down to your hip okay guys make sure you also mark it at your hip and rule connect these dots together rule a line across the dots So now on my waist, I'm going to come out by half an inch on both sides. 
so you can also come out by one inch okay you can come out by one inch on both sides it is just going to make it be more snatched okay but i'm going to come out by half an inch for mine and then just below my bust point i'm going to come down by one inch and above my hip i'm going to come up by one inch then i'm going to go ahead and connect these dots together guys please just watch as i'm connecting the dots you have to connect the one you took below your bust points the one inch down to your waist where you came out by half an inch on both sides and then from the waist down to your hip just above your hip where you came up by one inch and so now we have our dots the next thing is to take our round measurements right there i'm taking the quarter of my bust and i'm adding half an inch stitching allowance and on my underbust i'm going to take the quarter of my underbust then i'm going to measure out the darts that i will be cutting away guys remember when you remove your darts you have to replace them okay so i'm going to put back the dart now and i'm going to add my one and a half stitching allowance and on my waist i will do the same take the quarter of my waist and measure out the dart that i'll be cutting away that is like one inch there put it back and then add my stitching allowance so for my hip uh, there are no darts there okay because our darts are not reaching the hip so i'll just take the quarter of my hip and then just add my stitching allowance so guys wherever that you have darts that you will be taking away just replace back the darts and then before you add your stitching allowance okay so we'll be connecting these dots together and on your chest line it's just basically the same measurement as you took for your round bust okay so you just want to go ahead and connect these dots together So guys remember that this gown has a basque effect in front so right there at my hip i will come down by one inch and then just at the center front of my hip also i am going to come down by four inches so guys now if you want your basque to be deeper you can make yours 4.5 inches or five inches so the next thing that i am going to do is to connect these two dots together to form my basque line so guys what i'm doing right here is just basically dividing this pattern at 17 inches okay now if you want to cut yours at the waist if you want to make sure half length to be at your waist that is still fine but i would love mine to be just above my waist just an inch above my waist which is at 17 inches so this new um line or new dashes that i made is the way i'm going to be cutting this pattern So guys, for the dart, I'm not going to be cutting away the dart, okay? I'm just going to fold it like this and pin it. Now, this is how I'm going to place it on my fabric when I'm cutting. So, I don't need to stitch the dart on the fabric directly. Let's draft our back pattern. So, you just want to go ahead and mark your zipper allowance. I'm marking one one inch as my zipper allowance and I'm just going to go ahead and connect the dots together.
and so guys just like as we did for the front we are going to go ahead right now from the place you marked as your zipper allowance okay you will take your shoulder measurement you will take your neck width then on my shoulder i just came down again by one inch for our shoulder slant and so guys you want to go ahead and connect from your shoulder slant back to your neck width and i'm just going to go ahead right now to take the depth of my neck for the back i will go down by two inches because i want the back to be higher than the front and then just connect the lines from your neck width sorry connect the dots from your neck width down to the depth of your neck and then for the armhole just like as we did for the front you divide your bust by six plus 1.5 and then make sure that it is the same distance as your shoulder okay and then just go ahead and connect the dots together and also rule a line across there which is going to be the chest line of course and then for the back armhole you don't need to come in by half an inch at the middle of your armhole just mark the middle of your armhole and mark the quarter of your bust on your chest line and just connect the dots together if our horizontal measurements go ahead again take our bust point our under bust point then the waist and I'm going to rule lines across these dots and label them. So I'm just labeling it as bust point, under bust, waist, and of course, measure from your waist to your hip, rule a line across and also label it. So guys, you know, the next thing now is to take our darts, okay? So you measure your nipple to nipple the same as you did for the front. And for your back pattern, you will take your, your nipple to nipple measurement or your dart from your chest line, okay? You take from your chest line down to your hip and then connect the dots in a straight line. At your waist come out by half an inch and then below your chest line you're going to come down by one inch and also above your hip you come up by one inch so remember for the front pattern we took our one inch from below our bust point but for the back you have to take your one inch from below your chest line okay okay guys watch the way i'm connecting these lines Please make sure that it is coming down in a slanted form to meet the place where you marked your one inch. So now I'm marking my horizontal measurements, okay? And I'm also replacing the darts that I will be taking away before I add my stitching allowance. Please make sure that you replace your darts and then add your stitching allowances, okay? Now my underbust point, I'm going to take the quarter of my underbust, measure out the darts that I will be taking away, replace it and put my stitching allowance i'll do the same also for my waist get a quarter of my waist measure out the dots that i will be taking away and then put my stitching allowance and then for my hip there is no need to replace any dots because there are no dots to be cut away there so i'm just going to go ahead and put my stitching allowance then i'm just going to go ahead right now to connect these dots together And so guys just as we did for the front i'm going to come down by one inch on my hip then right there at the center front of my hip i'm coming down by four inches and i'll connect these lines together like so um extend the line to my zipper allowance and then for my zip bodge i'll come out by half an inch on my waist then i'll just rule the line across like so just so i can remove that zip bodge at the back 
so guys remember that i say that i wanted the half length of this gown to be at 17 inches so i'm just going to go ahead and mark 17 inches dot out the lines just like i did for the front pattern and divide it there And so guys please watch carefully as i am cutting so that you don't cut the wrong thing okay and make sure that you added your stitching allowances guys now if you forgot to do that before cutting or even whenever you're drafting any pattern for any clothes and you forgot and you forget <laughs> and you forget to add your stitching allowance before you cut you can also do that when you are cutting on your fabric just remember to do that when you are doing cutting on your fabric okay if you cut your clothes and make it without any stitching allowances guys you know what's going to happen So just like I did for the front, I am going to be folding away these darts and I'm going to be pinning it just to keep it in place. Now this is how I'm going to place it on my fabric and cut so I don't have to stitch in the darts on my fabric. So guys right now our patterns are ready both for the front and for the back so we'll just get right into cutting on our fabric so guys please don't mind that you're seeing a different paper when i made this clip i realized that i lost some clips so that's why i had to redo it so you want to make sure that you pin your patterns to your fabric before cutting to keep your patterns in place so it doesn't move while you are cutting on your fabric so guys what i did here was to basically nudge where my zipper allowance started just so i know where exactly to place my zip So guys, this is what I'm going to use to create the ruffles that will go around that basque line. So the length of this is about 14 and a half inches. Yes, this is at 14 and a half inches. And then the width is about 4 yards and 24 inches. So guys, remember the fuller that it is, the better, okay? So you want to make sure that your ruffles are going to be very full.
Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Bye.